Hey guys, this is Trace. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do my second vlog entry here. Um, I told you guys I was going to talk about some of the things I was bringing and packing, um, why I was bringing some of them, why I wasn't bringing some other things. So I'm just going to kind of go ahead and uh, I've got everything laid out. I'm going to go over my pack list, kind of talk a little bit about some of that stuff and uh, show you how it all goes together. Alright, here we go. So first let's talk about the bike. Um, a lot of touring bikes are going to be set up in a way that you have the racks and panniers mounted on the bicycle and if you do any research as far as bicycle touring long-term touring you'll see that their bikes are completely loaded down with all of their gear uh, I want to kind of do something a little bit different so I ended up doing a bicycle and a trailer um, so this actually allows me to while I'm in the town to you know disconnect the trailer with uh, wherever I'm staying and be able to get around town if I want to do that um, I also just feel like I would much rather just uh, pull a load with the trailer then actually load down the bike I feel like it would be a little bit more cumbersome and I would lose some stability and agility with that um, but on the bike itself um, I do have a couple of things there's gonna be this really nice 800 lumen headlight uh, it's gonna be really good it'll be bright enough to be seen in the daytime um, as well as I do have a really nice tail light on here um, you can see this works out pretty well uh, beyond that I did put aero bars on here so what this allows me to do is that instead of just being on this position while I'm at the bike I can actually come down and sit like this and that allows me to lean forward and get a little bit more aerodynamic position on the bike and it can also be more comfortable and then I've just got a little phone case right here so I can keep track of my maps or wherever I'm going uh, of course I've got a you know a couple water bottles on here I do want to talk about the drivetrain for a little bit though um, a lot of bikes you see nowadays are going to have a two by system which means it's going to have uh, two sprockets on the front. There'll be a derailleur usually mounted right about here and that's going to switch between like a high and a low gear. Uh, I wanted to get away from that and I actually went by with a 1 by 11 so I have 11 sprockets in the back. Um, now I don't really sacrifice any of my gear range with this. Uh, I do I do lose some of the, the in-between gears if that makes any sense. Um, but on the flip side of that I only have one derailleur uh, so it's much simpler to maintain and take care of. Uh, of course, I've got the clip-in pedals here. Um, hydraulic disc brakes, so that's going to make it much easier because the, the disc brakes are going to stop well if it's wet or muddy. Um, and the hydraulic aspect of that as well is actually going to make it much easier. You can see this is actually the reservoir here. Um, it allows it to be a much more responsive brake system as well as very low maintenance. Um, I don't have to worry about cable stretch or anything like that. Uh, then with the trailer itself, I ended up going with the Burley Nomad. Um, it's got a rainproof cover right here, as you can see. This is kind of what you would flap over the top of it whenever you're going around. Uh, but I picked this one because it has a little bit higher weight capacity. Some of the other ones I've seen, this one will do 100 pounds uh, as compared to most of them will only do about 70. Uh, this also is 105 liter volume. Um, from here, I'd like to kind of talk about the day pack. Um, so besides the stuff loaded into the trailer, I will have a backpack that's going to have some of my, uh, you know, some of the things that I'm going to want to keep on me at all times, you know, just the pack to go around, uh, a man bag, if you will. So I ended up going with this Camelback, uh, here's your beer. Oh, sorry. I ended up going with this Camelback backpack. Uh, it's got a three liter, uh, bladder in here, which should, uh, in most cases, you know, while I'm out riding, uh, give me all the water I need for the day. I do also, of course, have the two bottles on the bag. Um, but it's small, it's compact, but it does haul some of the things that I need to uh, carry with me. So here I'm going to have, you know, just basic journals, some pens. Um, these are just going to be some headphones. Uh, what's really interesting is this. Uh, this is a 20,000 milliamp hour backup battery. Um, so this is going to make sure that no matter where I'm at, uh, I will be able to keep my phone and my, my uh, lights charged. It comes with a couple of different charging cables and everything. Uh, of course, just a wall outlet and phone charger. Uh, I did end up getting a like a waterproof bag for my passport and my social security card is in here as well. So that'll keep this dry in case I uh, get rained on or anything like that. Um, keys. I am bringing my 3DS. Um, I kind of debated with this for a little bit as far as whether or not I wanted to bring it. Um, I really plan on experiencing as much as possible and not uh, zoning out. However, I do understand that there will be times that uh, I will be bored and I would much rather just have that with me. Um, if all else fails and I find that I don't need it, it does have some pretty good sale value to it, so I can't get something back out of it. 
Um, then of course I do have a, a nice little pocket knife here. I bought this just so I could have this around town. Um, most especially when I go into other countries, something that I can keep on me that's legal just about everywhere. Um, but it's good for, you know, personal protection and things of that nature. Uh, then of course my wallet. Um, I did actually get a, an ICE card made today. This just shows my name, my blood type, my phone number, a couple of uh, emergency contacts, as well as, you know, no allergies. I'll test positive for TB. Uh, so this is good in case I, you know, need to get picked up by an ambulance or anything like that. Uh, but all of this will be inside this little backpack here um, that pretty much covers, you know, I feel like some of the more important stuff, uh, you know, my phone, my passport, keys, wallet, uh, you know, my pocket knife. So I feel like that's going to be kind of the stuff that I want to carry with me, uh, you know, all the time, whether or not I'm on the bike or not. Uh, moving on to some of the bicycle gear, I have all this stuff here. Um, so these are actually bicycle shoes. For those of you who are unaware, it's got a cleat on the bottom. Uh, this actually allows me to clip in to the pedals on the bicycle and pull up on the back side of the swing. Uh, so it increases my efficiency uh, and makes it a lot more secure uh, as far as how I feel comfortable on the bike. Uh, of course, a helmet, bike gloves. I do have a, a smaller bike pump. Um, I do have there. Now, this is lube for the rest of the bike, and this is lube for the chain. Uh, a rag, grease. Um, I have Basically, all of these tools here are going to be everything I need to work on the bike. Um, so this is actually a cassette remover, which is the sprockets on the back. Um, this crested wrench will be used to, uh, in combination with that so that I can get the sprocket off if I need to replace some of the spokes on the rear wheel. Uh, this will remove the pedals as well as take apart the hubs on the wheel. Uh, this is a spoke wrench for making sure my wheels are straight. Uh, this is the bottom bracket tool, probably the largest tool I have. Uh, this is for actually removing the uh, the bottom bracket, which is where the crank arms are, uh, for those of you who don't know. Uh, so that's so I can actually take that piece apart, clean it out, re-grease it if I need to, if it gets wet or dirty. Um, just a basic bike multi-tool. This has literally everything I need on it that's not in these tools, as well as a chain puller uh, if I need to get the chain off for some reason. Uh, I do have some wire cutters. This is good for uh, this extra shift cable I have. Uh, so in case my shift cable snaps, I can actually put this one back on there. Um, I need to trim the edge of it to make sure it doesn't, you know, interfere with anything else. Uh, I do have some extra spokes. I've got about 10 of them here. Uh, these are going to be tire wrenches. Uh, so these are good for getting the tire off of the wheel, making sure I can replace that stuff. Uh, of course, I do have a bike lock. Uh, this will be in the trailer, but easily accessible so that I can actually use this when I stop somewhere. Uh, this is going to be a actual tire patch kit. So instead of actually getting an extra tire and bringing that with me, I decided to just go with the tire boot kit. Um, if a rare circumstance happens where the tire is no good anymore, this will usually cover that. Uh, more often than not, it will be the tubes that go out. Uh, this piece here came with the bike. Uh, this is in case I want to put a different stem on the bicycle. It came with kind of an odd stem. I know it's going to be kind of difficult to see. Let's get here. Uh, so you can see this is a little bit different than maybe some of the other stems. Um, and it's got this very unique adapter right here, which is particular to this stem and these spacers. But um, for some reason, if this was to break or get damaged and I needed to replace it with a standardized stem, um, this little piece here would actually go right here in order to uh, make that work well. Uh, coming back over here, uh, I do have an extra derailleur hanger. Uh, it has been said that the derailleur, or the rear shifter, is actually the uh, Achilles heel of a bicycle. Uh, now it's designed that way on purpose, so that uh, this breaks instead of the derailleur or the bike. Um, but I brought an extra one of these in case that does happen, and I can still put that back on there and get rolling again. Uh, these are going to be extra cleats for the shoes uh, in case I wear those down. Since I will be walking on them some, they'll, some, they'll probably get worn down. Uh, if that's the case, I do have a backup set so I can continue to ride. Um, I do have two tube patch kits. Um, so these are actually a glue patch kit. You can see it's just got some patches in here with them glue. Uh, this will be really useful, I'm sure. So I've got a couple of those. They're small, and they're going to get a lot of use. Um, I do have two extra uh, extra sets of brake pads. Um, so one for one, one for the front, one for the rear. Uh, but this is if my brakes wear down, um, I can go ahead and replace that pretty easily. Um, I did get an, a whole extra chain 
Uh, these are actually um, a little bit more expensive because it's an 11-speed chain. Uh, so I did get that as well as three master links for it. Uh, if the chain breaks, uh, I can actually just replace it with the master link. I have two tubes for the trailer itself and four tubes for the bicycle itself. Putting that back. And then let's move over here to uh, the rest of it. So this is kind of going to be the, the camping gear as well as everything else. So we'll start over here. And as you can see, I do actually have a life straw here. Uh, this is in case I do, for some reason, run out of water or unable to get some. And I need to get some water just to keep going. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know about this. This is there for that. Multi-tool. Um, this is a flint and steel so I can you know, light a fire. And I, I have used this before, so I know I can use it. Um, this is actually a knife sharpener here. Uh, I'll, I'll go over why that's important in a minute. But uh, some basic stuff, you know, zip ties, duct tape, paracord. Um, this is my personal hygiene stuff. Basic, you know, toilet, uh, um, basic toiletries. Uh, shampoo. I, well, I've got soap in there. I've got uh, deodorant, toothpaste, toothbrush. Uh, I do have some multivitamins in there. I feel like that's one of the things that will be... Kind of important, uh, you know, not being able to necessarily be very choosy with my diet. I feel like having some multivitamins will definitely help keep me going and keep me uh, keep me healthy. So, and I've actually had those already. Um, over here, I do have this is the Anchor solar panel, so I can kind of show you this real quick. This is actually a three-fold solar panel. Uh, so this is something I can actually put on top of the trailer or um, just lay it out while I'm camping, and this can actually make sure that. Uh, I'm charging that backup battery with this. Uh, so if for some reason I'm out for more than a few days and I need some extra power, this is going to help with that. Um, I do have a fixed blade camping knife. Uh, there's a couple of other utility pieces on this, but I, I got it because I, I like Gerber and it's a good fixed blade. Uh, I do have a first aid kit. I've got some extra pieces in there that weren't in there, like an ace bandage. Um, I do have aspirin and... Uh, no, I have ibuprofen and Tylenol in there. And then this is a SAM splint. Um, you know, in case I actually wreck for whatever reason, I can actually use this to kind of patch myself up a bit before I, you know, uh, if I need to continue going to get to, you know, to get to some medical care. Um, over here, I'm going to have some of the camping stuff. Let's see, this is going to be my bed. This is a rollout foam uh, air bed. So you roll it out, you open a valve on it, and it kind of fills up with air. Uh, sleeping bag. This is a small two-person tent. This is going to be my mess kit. Uh, this just has a pot, a couple of bowls, and uh, two sporks in there. So just basically for oatmeal and things like that while I'm on the road. Uh, this is actually all of my clothes in here. Um, now I do have a list. Let me grab it. Just so I can kind of go over with you guys the things I've packed as far as clothes. I have two pants, uh, two bicycle shorts. Uh, for those of you who don't know, bicycle shorts actually have a pad in there. It's called a chamois. Um, and that's actually going to make a huge difference, especially on long uh, long rides as far as staying on the bike and being comfortable. Um, I have two um, two shorts. One of them is a swimming short. Uh, I do have a long sleeve winter shirt, um, a jacket. I've got two casual shirts, uh, three uh, sport shirts, five socks, five underwear. I have a headband a belt, um, and I do have a set of PJs in there as well. And that kind of all fits in this little compression sack. I was kind of surprised at how, uh, how much stuff I was able to fit in there and compress down. Uh, over here, this is actually going to be a bicycle cover. Um, so if I'm out camping uh, in between cities and it starts to rain, I need to make sure that I have my bike covered up because uh, the more of the weather I can keep off of that bike, uh, the better. And of course, I do have a tarp. There is multiple uses for that. Um, I do have a small fishing kit, uh, you know, if I need to get some food while I'm out for whatever reason, I'm a, I feel like I'm a little bit over prepared with this, uh, but then again, at the same time, I know this can also be a lifesaver, so, um, I do have some regular, you know, just regular tennis shoes that, uh, they're lightweight, they're pretty, they're actually fairly lightweight, uh, I guess they're kind of running shoes, but these are good because I can pack them up, they're small. These will be kind of like casual shoes. I've been wearing these at work a lot. Um, I do have the socks that go with this. Uh, but these are really lightweight. They do have an actual decent sole and tread on there. So these are something I can wear casually um, depending on where I'm at. Uh, and then, of course, I do have this machete here. 
Uh, now the machete is kind of dual purpose. It will be for camping as well as protection. Um, seeing as how I will be going through um, probably some more uh, rural areas, uh, especially once I go up through Canada and Alaska, I will have to be wary of wild animals and things like that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have been doing uh, foam combat for quite a few years now, so I feel proficient enough with just this to be able to uh, handle myself. Um, now this right here is actually a waterproof bag. Um, I believe this is like a 20 liter bag, uh, but this is actually all my winter gear in here. So I put um, a waterproof heavy winter coat. I have some wool socks. Um, I've got a beanie. I have winter gloves. Uh, I feel like there's a couple of other things that I'm... Oh, I, uh, I put a down blanket in here. Uh, let's say I'm going through Canada, Alaska, or somewhere cold, and my, uh, you know, my sleeping bag is not quite enough. That down blanket compacts really well, uh, but it's also really warm. Um, so I brought that as kind of a backup as well. Uh, but this is kind of like my winter bag, um, you know, something that I'd rather bring with me instead of having to buy something wherever I'm at. Um, and this, all of this stuff actually fits in the trailer. I've already pre-packed this stuff before. Um, now, a side note on the trailer, I do want to make sure that I actually have the weight balanced. So this is actually the front end over here, um, and this is the axle. So I do want to have a lot of the heavier stuffs, most of the tools, um, the bike parts, things like that, the knives. Those are going to go on the back half over here, probably the tent as well. Um, and then I'm going to have, you know, the larger stuff that doesn't weigh as much towards the front. You know, the clothes bag, the sleeping bag. Uh, just to kind of make this balance because I don't want to put too much weight over here. Um, that could actually slow me down a little bit. Um, and then this thing also does have, um, you know, a nice little flag that goes on there just to make sure that people are seeing me as well. All right. All right, guys. So that kind of goes over um, a few of the things, you know, what I'm packing, why I'm packing. Uh, if you guys have any other questions as far as things that you feel like you want to suggest, um, I've probably already kind of looked at these things. I've been doing research for a minute. Uh, I will say that REI has been a great help. Uh, their website has a lot of packing lists as far as, you know, long-term camping, uh, long-term bicycle touring. So I've kind of derived a lot of this from there and then tailored it to my own use. Um, as far as food goes, um, I probably, I, I do have a little bit of room left over in my, in my trailer. So what it's going to really equate down to is uh, I will probably be buying a day or two maybe worth of food as I go um, but I don't ever plan on getting so rural that I won't be able to find food within a couple of days um, so that is there and then the thing is I've got paracord I've got duct tape um, so if I need to you know let's say strap something on top of the trailer like if I need to take that you know that large uh, winter bag um, it takes up a lot of space if I need to put that on the outside of the trailer um, so that I can pack some more food in there I can always do that um, but if you guys have any questions uh, as far as what I've talked about this video or anything else, just uh, leave a comment uh, either on YouTube or Facebook. I will try to address it um, either in the comments or maybe in my next video if I feel like it warrants a discussion. Um, but guys, I'm really excited. I will be going down to Galveston tomorrow. Uh, I'll be leaving there on Friday. I will probably make a video uh, that Friday, kind of let you guys know how the first leg of the journey went. Uh, but until then, I will see you guys later.